okay, y'all? I don't know. Anybody there? I don't know. Anybody home? <laughs> oh, did you have it muted during the music instead of... Mm -mm, I just had this muted. Uh. You're talking. No, I know, but they're saying they couldn't see hear anything. All right, they're hearing something. Yay! Maybe it's working! Yay! You guys are awesome. You stuck with us through all the chaos. Woo! Welcome back. Long time no see. I'm not even sure we saw you yet. <laughs> so, I don't even remember. Oh, we were talking about... Uh, no, we're uh, starting over. We're starting over. Yes. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. It's Groundhog Day up in here. A little early, but... Okay, so, for those that are watching this after the fact, we had some crazy technical difficulties, and I actually think it was a YouTube problem. So... YouTube? The short story is... YouTube has a new policy that if you don't have a thousand subscribers, you can't do ads. So this video was set up with ads, and I'm guessing their policy kicked in, and it was doing something weird with the fact that we had ads on our video when we shouldn't have had ads on our video. Which it shouldn't even give us the option now. But anyway, but whatever. I set, because I set this video up before and... it happened. So, okay, so it's it has something to do with the new policy, because when I went in to recreate this, it wouldn't let me do ads. And it caused all these errors when I tried to do ads. Oh, okay. So yeah. anyway. So not, not when so it's So you guys are ad free. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so that's what I think happened. That's my, my, because I didn't change anything else. There goes our mad loots. So let's do a conference call. I like that. <laughs> I love it. Let's do this. So we're going to start over. We're going to start over. Let's... Hi, guys. <laughs> hopefully, we seen hopefully you the ones on the other uh, stream are now over on this stream, I hope. Maybe. Um, we have what? Dan says we have 900 now? Is that right? Oh, don't tell me it locked up again. But oh, my goodness. I hope it didn't. Okay. You scared me. Looks like it's... Is it locking up, guys? Oh, my gosh. Is it locking up? I think it's locking I can't up. even get excited. We may have to cancel if this doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. I mean, well, well, we know what we're doing. We don't know what it's doing. Is it spinning again, guys? It looks like it's right spinning round, again. Right round like a record. I really wasn't trying to sing, I promise. I'm too froggy tonight for that nonsense. Yeah, it looks like it's spinning. Oh my goodness. Uh, looks like we're going to have to cancel. I don't know what's going on, honestly. Yeah, 100 more. That's right. 100 more. It looks like... Are we? Can you give us an update, guys? Are we spinning? <laughs> up in here. Up in here. Is it... Is it... Is... Is your world spinning? <laughs> Okay. Well, All right, already, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm glad it's not spinning for you guys because it's, it's spinning, doing it's spinning for us. So anyway, so anyway, let's go. Let's just, we're going to power through. Just give us a, just uh, give us an update if it, it crashes. So here's <laughs> what's going, what we're going to do. We're going to do recent plays that we've done. So of these recent plays, we played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new games since the last time we chatted with you guys. Mm-hmm. Rebecca's played all of these. I've played <laughs> some of these. So she's yeah. played some games I haven't ever played. That's a first! <laughs> it's never happened before. So that's yeah. that's unusual. So we're gonna go over it. We're gonna start oh, it has with we're gonna start with Castles of Burgundy, the card game. So, pretend like you've never heard this before. <laughs> but we played it. We liked it a lot. It's a pretty fun game. It kind of reminded me of doing the Rivals for Catan version of Catan, where you have like cards based instead of the board game or whatever so it spreads out on the table a little bit more but it's much more compact for traveling and stuff like that we liked it a lot but we think that 
I don't know, it was pretty universal for us that it didn't change enough that we're going to ever get rid of our Castles of Burgundy board game. It's still going to sit right behind Hunter's head for all to see. <laughs> for now. No, yeah, for now. But no, we're going to play it and stuff. But it's it's cool to have both. They're d- different enough. So it's kind of like, oh, I'm in the mood to play with some cards, you know. Do that stuff. Yeah, this so. one, uh, I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was okay. I don't know if I would ever pick this <laughs> that game over Castles of Burgundy. Yeah, if we have this one, I'd rather play the board game. But I don't know. It's kind of fun for some. It's okay. It's it's lighter. I don't think it's as complicated. Yeah. Um, it kind of mitigates some of the randomness of the dice a mm-hmm. little, I guess, since it's card dice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it was okay. It was just okay for me. All right. So there you go. That's one down. All right. Number two. Number two. Number two is Clank in Space. Oh yeah, Clank in Space. That game is hilarious. Someone asked, would it be better for travel? Definitely. The card game. Oh, yeah, the card game. You want to grab it and show them how tiny it is? It's tiny. So, yeah, it's it's really small. Really it's, compact. Um, in fact, I, does it even take the whole box? No. It doesn't it's, even take the whole box. It's a... Okay, you can put this in a sandwich bag, people. Yeah, it's it's. I super mean, you'd tiny. have to do a lot of sorting, but... All right, so I'm going to click in space. What do you think? What do you think of that one? Clank in Space is awesome. I think that you should have both of them. I know people think, oh, this totally supersedes the other one. I like them both for different reasons. The theme in Clank in Space is insane. I love it. There's great little flavor text with a whole bunch of different sci-fi references, and we were giggling and yucking it up every time we caught a new one at the bottom. Hey, that's actually referencing this or that. And So that was really fun. Some of them were kind of obscure, so that was even more fun. I guess we just put on our nerd royalty for that game but it's a slightly meatier version of clank and it's a heavy sci-fi theme so if you like the fantasy theme stick with clank if you want a little bit more to the game clank in space if you like sci-fi better than that clank in space but i don't know they're different enough and if you like the deck builder they're both awesome i i loved it yeah, I, I like Clanking Space better than the regular for a couple reasons, even though when we played, I did very horribly at it. <laughs> I died in the depths of the it ship. Did. It was so awesome. <laughs> he was like, I'm in the bottom, Clang. You were He was flinging things against the walls. It was really noisy. Yeah, I died. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that one better because for multiple reasons. There's more of a game there because uh, with Clank, it, you can just rush in, grab an item, and rush out and, and end the game early. This one, you have to accomplish some goals before you can leave the ship. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I think the, 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 the inside jokes on the cards are more interesting. I think I like the faction cards. That adds a little, another little layer to the game that uh, Clank doesn't have. So if you want something simple, simple, more simple and straightforward, go Simpler. with Clank. If you want something, you want something a little more meat to it. Um, I'll just Clank in space, and it's, yeah. but Clank in space is going to be, I think, it, overall on average, it's going to be a longer game. Than oh Clank yeah, is. yeah, yep, definitely. So take that into no! consideration. Love it, love it, love it, love so it. They're spinning. No. Uh, I'm just gonna power through. If it gets horrible, just let us know. But we're going to power through. Tommy says no spinning. Okay. All right. Next. Next, next, next is... What is next? What's after Clank in space? Next is... Wordsy. Oh, my goodness. Let's just, let, before she talks about it, I destroyed her at a word game. You can just put talk. that on the calendar. Talk. <laughs> talk. This is a really fun game, and it's different than all the other board games that we had because you usually have a limited production. You're like, make something out of these letters, and that's it. Yep. This one was like, make anything you want as long as it includes as many of these letters as possible. So you're like, Psh, mind blown, and I'll come up with these stupid words, but I'll only have like a third of the letters in them, and Hunter's like, blah, 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 and it has all of the letters in it. It, it was just hilarious. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's fun it's a fun word game it's a little bit different like i said from what you're used to and it goes really fast i I thought it was a pretty quick little game and it was just hilarious we talked a lot of smack while we were playing it too that was fun yeah i would have to say it's probably right up there is one of my favorite word games because you're getting this one i did well at it (laughs) 
I don't know. I, I, I'm uh, for whatever reason, you if you put a, a lot of letters on the on the on the table, and I've got to make a word out of all of them, as many as I can, that works better for me than having. Like I have these cards, and I have these other letters over here that I can use, yeah, or it. I can do this over here. I and it. It, it just I, I like to have it all out in front of me. I just try to make the best word I can, and I like the fact that the different letters are worth different values depending on which column they're in. Um, there's some hard, the harder letters are, are worth bonuses, and finishing quickly is worth a lot because that's how I destroyed her. Because I, I think I look at the board and go, oh, this word, and she's like, hmm, let me go through my. Hundred thousand vocabulary words and find out the perfect word. Oh, oh well, crap! I'm out of time. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh man, so ridiculous. But yeah, whatever. I just like it. It's just it's, no. It's, it's fun. E- it's, it's easy. It's, it's really straightforward. Fun. It's quick to set up. It's it's just it's easy to play. I like games like that too that just make you think about language in a different way, and it's just it's different so you've got to train your brain slightly different way to do it just i don't know well the speed like the that. speed aspect the speed aspect is going is going to mess with the people with the, that have a bigger vocabulary i think because they're yeah. gonna they're, well, gonna, I'm not used they're, to they're going they're gonna be like i gotta find the perfect word and i'm yeah. like uh yeah. that looks good done boat right <laughs> that was like a 50 50 point word that was that was that was like epic Anyway, wordsy. Man, he wins one game. Someone man. mentioned hardback. Uh, oh, okay. We get wait. our copy of hardback Friday. Ha <laughs> yay! And the paperback expansion. Paperback wait, expansion. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking at this ginormous box over here, and you have another game coming already? That was a Kickstarter that was like from months and months and months and months and months and months and months ago. Well, New Year has started, folks. Hey, this is my first game I bought this year. Oh these, my these goodness! Games. The games oh over there are the first games I bought this and year. And you're all a witness to this. I almost made game. a whole month. That's pretty good. You guys are enablers. <laughs> enablers. All right. Next up. Next up. <sighs> Tell me about alien artifacts. Alien artifacts. This was a much more passive game yeah. than I expected it to be. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah, they build this as a. Um, a 4X card game? Mm, didn't feel it. No. It doesn't feel like 4X. I mean, I, I see what they were going for with it, but... And it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's not that it's not a fun game, but if you look at it and say, I'm doing a 4X game, nope. I mean, They tried. Has, they came close. It has, but... it has... You're going through the motions of what would be 4X because you're building ships, you're taking over planets, you're fighting each other, but it really just feels like a tableau building, engine building game. I didn't really feel it. It could have just easily been like fruit on the cards. Yeah. Okay, maybe not fruit, but. You know what I mean. You I could, it, 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 it didn't really feel like, oh, I'm building up this massive fleet and I'm going in and I'm killing no, everybody and that. I'm taking over that. these planets and, you know, I, it just. Nope. Don't I don't, feel like I don't, that. it just. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting game. I enjoyed it. But it it was not. I didn't feel like I was playing a four X game. Yeah. Yes, yes, you're right, guys. His game purchases were so 2017. No, this one's not. I ordered this like last week. See, here we go. Now, paper, hardback was last year sometime. I, I got. There's a lot of kickstarters that are coming in in the next couple of months. Refrigerator box unboxing. Oh man. <laughs> Wait till you see this thing. This it would fit a mini fridge. That's for sure. All right. Anything else about alien artifacts? Um. I think people who like card games and like tableau building, engine building type games yes. might like it. But, but, but I, if you're looking for, you know, combat and you know, destruction I, and I annihilation and fighting. I more excited about that than I was. Yeah, to me it was a disappointment because I was looking at it as a 4X. If you don't go into it looking at it as a 4X, you will enjoy this game. It's also another game that if you have experience with the game, you're going to destroy anyone who doesn't have experience Oh, that's true. Yeah, if, you have, if you're teaching someone new, you might want to be kind to them. <laughs> All right, you can just onward. Like, so, but it's cool. It's a cool game. Let's get into the games I haven't played yet. Yay! Let's see. What's that? Okay, so it's this one. Oh, we played this one. Do you want to tell us about? Oh yeah, you played this. Community. Pursuit of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! You guys know I love this stinking game. I love this game. It's so much fun. And the community adds this whole new little. 
element of community work. And uh, what's the track that we keep track of on this one? It's called... Uh, community. Is it just community? It's actually just called community. Okay, yes. I thought it was more difficult than that. Yeah. But no, you, it's it's called it's called special. That's what I thought. Other. But they're, they're community good. cards, but I can't what the track is called. But anyway, wow, you're a big help. Big help. So yeah, it adds it adds in like um, things you do, like go to an office party or <laughs> volunteer at the library or blah blah blah. But aside stuff that you can do on top of the other things, because yes. you know you have a, a, a limit on how many of the other things like jobs and stuff that you can do. But this is an extra thing that you get to do on top yeah, of you it. Yeah, you get a freebie meeple that you get to do one thing if you wish. You don't have to do it. Yeah. And then you can add your regular worker, whatever, pawns, whatever you want to call them, on Onto to, it to and do, do more. extra. Yeah, and you get popularity. That's what it is. It's popularity. <laughs> you get popularity. Sounds a little cheesy, but um, it wasn't as preppy as it sounds. <laughs> but it's really fun and of course there's all these different actions and things you're doing so you're besides having your weird doll collection and um have a job as a shoe shiner or whatever you know all the random things you get in this game you now have all these random activities in the community thing you're doing vying for popularity and it was a lot of fun in fact we kind of got almost sidetracked well i did anyway with all the fun stuff so that when it was time to get into old age i just croaked I, I died. Yeah, she built up no... I passed away from so too much fun. She, she, she didn't build lower her stress levels enough, and she just conked off. I went out way. like an exploding star. <laughs> I played two star. full turns without her. Because she <laughs> kicked off. All right, so... I lived it to the fullest, people. And what's funny is, I, when I was looking at our Shelf of Shame, there's a whole big stack of uh, Kickstarter... Uh, cards that we didn't even uh, include. Shame. That came, basically, Shame. you had an option to buy the Kickstarter extras from the original Pursuit of something. I don't know, but there's a big stack of cards we didn't play with. And a cool little palm tree first player marker. Yeah, that we, now we have to play it again. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. I hate having to play this game again. All right. Gosh. gosh. Enough about that silly game. Love that it was, silly it was, game. It was a good addiction. No, addiction. I liked it. It is, it is an addiction. <laughs> addiction. You finally confessed. All right, now we're into the game. Three, <laughs> no, two games I did not have not played. Okay. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this game, the dice in a bowl. <laughs> dice in a bowl. Tell me about I, dice in a bowl. Oh my gosh! I understand all of the online jokes and references after playing this. It is dice in a bowl. Okay, but it's stupid funny, and it's stupid fun, and you're literally just throwing these dice in there at each other, and you're pulling out pairs, and you just, it's dice old maid, you don't want to end up having nothing? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you're trying it's to get just... rid of your cards. No, you want to keep dice. Oh, you're trying to acquire dice? You're okay. trying to acquire dice, so you're rolling in, and anytime there's pairs that pop up, you pull those out, and then your turn ends. Mm. Well, if you keep chucking them in, expecting to get pairs, and don't get any, you run out of dice, you lose. It's do you stop me. anytime you want? Yeah, hmm. you can. So I can throw a couple in and realize that I'm not getting anywhere with it and be like, okay, I pass. But, you know, it's a gamble, right? It's just, oh my gosh. It's <laughs> it's perfect. It is so casual. I don't know why you couldn't just get your own dice and a bowl. That's what everybody jokes about online. That's what it is. That's, that's, that's literally what it is. I guess you could build a giant arena. That is so happening for our tournament this year. We <laughs> are having a strike get, get tournament. Get the big, the big, like, the, the two centimeter dice and just... <laughs> Please, someone make a giant strike. Okay, anyway, yes. Dice in a bowl. I get it. It's funny. Thank you, Bailey, for bringing that. All right. Oh, my goodness. Next, last but not least, the one I'm actually jealous of that she played. You're jealous of that one, too. That's not last. That's not the last one. You missed one. Why? What else? The cat. Oh, I don't even count that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, fine. Show your barren part. No, Baron. I don't know anything about it. Talk, tell me about it. <laughs> you don't know anything about it. It's adorable. Okay, the artwork's fantastic. I absolutely love Barren Park, and it's another one of our buddies' um, style games. But it's kind of reminds me of Patchwork, Feast for Odin, but it's not a cottage garden. But it's not any of those games. I wouldn't say that one replaces the other. Um, it's got that adorable artwork with all the different little bears. There's even little penguins on with the polar bears and things like that. And you're tetrising a bear park. And you've, you're making this little zoo that is exclusively for bears and koalas. And um, you've got different shaped pieces. And you, depending on what you do. And you cover up spaces on the board. Um, 
that when you cover them, kind of reminds me of that regard like Feast for Odin. If you leave something uncovered, you cover up everything but the one spot you're going to get a special bonus set of victory points that you put in that hole. And there's also different places on the board that, you know, like if there's a little backo, you get to add this certain type of tile and of different sizes and things like that. So super simple game. I mean, it's actually simpler than I'm making it out to be by describing it, to be honest. Yeah, I want this one. Uh, oh I wish gosh, it would come fun. back into print. It's been like, I swear this was in print for like 30 seconds. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I, I swear it was it was available and cool stuff, and I thought, do I want to get this? And I went out and did, looked at a few reviews, and I went back, and it was uh, it was gone. Oh, yeah. It was done. Teach you to look at reviews. That'll yep. teach you. But yeah, um, super cool game. I, I would play that again in a heartbeat, and I love it. All right. And it's funny, even though it's light, it's... It's still that Tetris. I don't know. I just it's really fun, really super fun game. Yeah, I think I would prefer it over the other ones we have. Mm -hmm. The neat thing is too, it's simple enough that I think my girls could play it too. I don't know. Don't you think? I think our girls. Could play I don't know nothing about it. I didn't play it. I'm gonna remind you about this fact forever. <laughs> well, maybe forever before we get it again. That's possible too. Or get it. Or get so, yeah. All right, tell us about this other game. All right, all right, all right. I played Cat Lady. <laughs> but I played it with uh, um, Hector. Well, actually, I didn't play it with Hector. I played it with the gaming wife, and uh, she brought it. And Hector the turtle had blinged out their game. So they had these adorable little miniatures instead of the little boring cubes. And they had these great little miniature fish and chicken legs and little milk bottles and all sorts of craziness. And that is a fun, cute little game that you can just throw down and play. Another real light, casual game. And you've got three rows slash columns of cards and you're building sets and trying to get victory points and you have to feed your cats with certain um, whatever they prefer to eat, whether it's tuna or <laughs> milk or whatever. And then if you feed them, they give you bonus points as well. So... Really light game, really cute art, really fun, nice, fun, casual game. I I recommend it. It's one of those. I recommend it too. Do you? <laughs> the anti light gamer over here. Hmm. Hmm. No, it's the little the little totally the little, normal. The little blinged out things looked interesting. Yep. The game looked. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Whatever. It's awesome. I love that game. I want that game. My girls are going to just drool over that game. Well, then why don't you buy it? I'm probably going to. <laughs> all right, that wraps up the list. So just to... Just no, it doesn't. Isn't that, is that it? That's it. That's all the new games we've Wow, played. look at all that, guys. So, um, you want to tell them about the, our trip to Nerdvana? Oh, I was like, are we going somewhere? No, that'd be awesome, too. Yeah, we got to meet... I don't know if... I haven't seen Brent. One of you guys came into town doing job interview stuffs. Brent, hi Brent, if you're out there right now. And that was super awesome. So we met Brent at Nerdvana and got to play if you like games and goof around and chat for a little while. And that was so much fun. So when you guys come into town, you have to keep like saying, hey, and if we can meet up with you guys, we will. That's so cool. Yeah. Sometimes our schedule's psycho and we can't, but it was cool that that actually got to work out and it was a lot of fun. And uh, Brent, you have to let us know how your job stuff went if you end up moving to Fort Worth. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. It was, so, it, was, it was fun to hang out and just relax for an afternoon. It was, yeah, it was nice. that was super awesome. It's just really fun to meet you guys and actually chat and play games and share a, a hobby. I think that's one of the neatest things about our hobby, too, is that it's it's fun, A, and it's a fun thing to share with other people. You know, I, I enjoy that. Let's get rid of Cat Lady. Goodness, why? Goodness it's so me. awesome. Goodness me, why is that picture still on the screen? <sighs> Cat Lady is so good, you guys. It's so cute. Oh. And uh, Hector the Turtle should put up his, like, links to all his shopping list for all of the little blinged out pieces he found. <laughs> yeah, little milk bottles. Yeah, they were really cool. I was like, where did you find these? I was like, I don't want the game. I'll take the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the extra hey. pieces are amazing. What? What? Hey! Yay, Brent! <laughs> The infamous Brent is The Brent chat. is online. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to move on. Hopefully, hopefully we're not lagging too much to play. Oh, yes. Box of Rocks. There's going to be a lot of delay because that's one of the things I changed is I increased the, the, the delay time. 
But we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. Box of rocks. So it's me and Rebecca and you versus the rocks. Yes. Are you smarter than a box? So we of need rocks? we need a we need a, a captain to be oh captain my captain. This will be the meeple for the people. This is you guys. This will be the rock, and then we need uh, two other ones. I shall be a bunny for Nessa, and you can be a duck because there's All right. Drake. All right. I'm a bunny. Where's mine? I gotta, my meeples are way over there on the other side of all the right. room. All right, so we're all down here. Yeah, we're actually all down here. All right, we're gonna play Box of Rocks. If you the don't rock. know the way the way the game works is, um, we're gonna ask a question. The answer to the question will be either zero, one, or two, um, and your captain of the internet, whoever that will be, <laughs> will have the final say. There is a delay, so please try to answer fairly quickly so that we can get through this. We're going to play. We're just going to play to three this time. <laughs> we're not doing extras. <laughs> First one to three wins. All right, guys. All right. We have a captain. We need a captain. We need a captain. Captain Kangaroo. He's going to be the captain. I'm going to pick somebody. A live play of Exit, Tommy, would be Hunter and a shotgun. <laughs> live play of Exit. <laughs> it would be hilarious, though. You're like, pull! <laughs> That's what would happen. <laughs> Jobby! Jobby's got this! All right, Jobby, you're up. Go, Jobby. All right, here's the first question. First question is... How many minutes did it take Leakin to give the Gettysburg Address... I guess we'll write it on an answer on a piece of paper so that we know we're not cheating. How many minutes did it take Lincoln to give the Gettysburg Address? Right, I have my answer. Did he speak quickly? Right, I'm just... The rocks have spoken. <laughs> Prepare to lose to a rock, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks are off camera. I'll put the rocks over here. <laughs> Zero, one, or two are the only possible answers. Zero, one, or two are the only answers. Two minutes is about 300 words, if that helps you. Depends on how fast you're talking. I said about. He's a lawyer. Lawyers All right. Talk. Lawyers talk fast. The people say two, or the internet say two. I say one. I said two. I said one, just to rebel. And the rocks have said... Rocks say... Two. The rocks have said two, so everyone but you said two. And the answer is... Probably two. Two! Is it really? Good old A spoke only 272 words that day, but each one was memorable. So, 300, told you. Close to 300 words. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right. It was guess. It was Everybody guess. but Rebecca gets a point. Whatever. <laughs> we'll do sudden death if there's a tie break. <laughs> Cut the feed. Sudden death. <laughs> that's me in a box of rocks right there. Well, that one's easy. Gamers will get that one. That one's too easy. All right, come on, nerds. Let's I'm do this. I'm not going to do the gamer one. That's too come easy. Come on, let's do the nerdy one. No, it's a give me. Okay, fine. Pick a new one. That one's easy, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Tommy. These are too easy. I'm going to skip this one. Tommy and I'm making executive binary. I'm going to make executive decisions. Put Tommy and China out for binary jokes. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a pop culture. Oh, great. I'm so good at that. How many members of the rock band U2 have been replaced since their 1978 formation? How many members of the rock band U2 have been replaced since their 1978 formation? 
Does I don't care count for an answer? That is the question. Does I don't care count? Mark this up. You know all this crap, and I could care less. I've had my answer. Actually, I could not care less. <laughs> because, okay. I have my answer. I have the answer. I'm I have just... my answer. Let's see what the rocks are. The rocks have spoken. <laughs> I do that with my students. Like, the rocks have spoken! They love that game. How many members of the rock band U2 have been replaced since their 1978 formation? I hate this game. <laughs> I think I got the answer wrong. I think the internet's right. Alright, I assume that's the final answer from James? No. Javi's your captain. No, he said, James, you're up. Oh, he did? Oh. Is that a final answer? Are you a final answer? Is that your final answer? <laughs> Javi, captain till the end. <laughs> All right, they said zero. I said one. I said one. And the rocks have said two. Yeah, rocks suck. The answer is zero. What? All four members are still rocking on. Shouldn't it only have two members? You two? Just... This you, is why I don't answer these questions. <laughs> that was good. All right, so here's the questions I skipped that anyone... All right, fine. So here's the one. These don't count. This is not counting. I'm going to tell you why I skipped this. How many color-coded properties on the... Mop, mop? How many color-coded properties on a Monopoly game board only have two street spaces? Oh, that's dumb. All right. Okay. How many prime numbers end with a two or a five? That's stupid. All right. And then the other one's a sports question, which I vetoed. All right. Lame. All right, here we go. All right, fine. Let's find one on this page here. Ooh, we may have some Canadians. I don't want to pick that one. Oh, will you stop weeding out the questions? He's just stacking the deck All right, for here's, him. Here's geeky pop culture for you. There you go. Now Ge we have a chance. Geeky pop culture. Here Bring we go. It. Bring it. How many siblings does Harry Potter's actor Daniel Radcliffe have? How many siblings does Harry Potter actor Daniel Radcliffe have? I'm going to go with my first answer of who cares. That's the official question. One more time. That's my official answer. How many siblings does Harry Potter actor Daniel Radcliffe have? <laughs> right now the score is Internet 2, Rocks and Hunter 1, Rebecca 0. That's lame. <laughs> I, am a, I am equally as smart as a box of rocks. Oh, I didn't do that. I, I could tell you after today that I was going to end up be losing to boxes of rocks. <laughs> it's okay. How many Canadians? <laughs> uh, There's a Canadian question. Yep. He acts like a second born only child. I'm sure that means. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, the team's divided. The team's divided. Divided team. <laughs> They're fighting. Is it one? Is it two? Play the odds. Go with zero, the gut. Zero, one. Zero, one, two, one, zero. Zero, one, zero, two, one, three, one two. It's like watching a tennis match. One, zero, zero, one. <laughs> zero, zero, one, one. We say one, oh hunter. <laughs> one. I say zero. I said one. The rocks say. I'm sticking with my one, no matter. Zero. So me and the rocks say zero. You and the internet say one. The Come answer on, is. One internet. Zero. That sucks. Like his famous character, Daniel is an only child. That actually makes so much All sense. All right, so me and the rocks have moved up. Three way tie. It is now rocks two, internet two, hunter two, and Rebecca. 
I'm going home. You are home. <laughs> Rebecca Zero. You didn't catch that. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks, babe. I'm winning at life. I don't care about this game. <laughs> Bring it. Quit weeding out the questions. Well, I know the answer to that one, so it's not really fair that I do that. Um, we have some dog lovers in the in the internet. There's dog lovers, right? Here we go. We'll do this one. It's for all you dog lovers at home. How many times has the Labrador Retriever retrieved the most popular dog in the U.S. won Best in Show at the Westminster Dog Show? How many times has the Labrador Retriever Ooh, the Westminster won dog show? Best in Show at the Westminster Dog Show? This is where I gain my lead. No. I have my answer. I'm going to just stick I have with my, my answer. First. I'm sticking with my first answer, even though it's wrong. Stand by your principles. <laughs> it's totally not having anything to do with my principles, but it's okay. How many times is the Labrador Retriever, the most popular dog in the United States, won Best in Show at the Westminster? Let me just is point it out, we, is it, it's, it's Westminster. Westminster, West Minister, right? Yeah, because it's the, the, no offense to you British peeps, but it's the Snooty Dog Show. Is it Westminster or Westminster? I don't know, I always said Westminster. Anyone that's in Brit in England out there, let us know. Is it Westminster? It's probably Minister. Or Westminster. It's probably Westminster because there's a Westminster in Denver. That's what I'm thinking of because I used to live West in there. Westminster or Westminster? It's Westminster. It's got an I, right? Yes. It's Westminster. No, it's Westminster, you gooberhead. There's no I in the middle. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Are you related to Tom? I swear. Tom Vassar. <laughs> Yeah, see, you guys are thinking the same thing that I put for my answer. What's that? I, as much as we love the lab, I don't think it's going to get a best of show. All right, the internet said one. I said zero. I said zero also. I just and don't Rock see them say, it because it's just not one of the dogs that they really, really love. Rock them. say one. So internet, so internet and Rock say one, me and you say zero. I fear I'm going to lose because you said zero. Wow! <laughs> and the answer is... Zero. Ha ha, sucker. The bunny is alive. And that means I win! I am smarter than the box of rocks! <laughs> <laughs> and you can publicly claim that now. Yes! It's my first victory against rocks. That's true, because last time you were dumber than a box my of rocks. My first victory against rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Alright. Grid. Act, so act, the, act. The, the answer was... The question I vetoed because I knew the answer because I watched Sesame Street religiously for like ten years. What is the first number in the three-digit Sesame Street address where Bert and Ernie live? Better yet, you know the entire address, which I knew. What is the first number in the three-digit Sesame Street address where Bert and Ernie lived? Go ahead, nerd boy. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do you know where Big Bird, where Big Bird lived? In the street. Next door. He did live in the street, but you know what his address was? One, two, three, four, and a quarter. <laughs> I win! Victory! Oh my gosh! There's no living Victory! with him. There's no living with you. All right. All right. This is nonsense and shenanigans. Time for a random record, Rebecca. Record, record, record. Uh, but there's a box with the. We're gonna do that. We'll get to that. I think he attended Tom Vassell schools for kids who can't pronounce good. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. <laughs> Oh, oh that was, that was, that was, I think I put the meeples in here. Your little meeple hey, guy. Give me, my, give me my... Oh, that's your duck. You can keep your duck whatever you want. All you right. Throw that we're gonna, duck. We're going we're gonna to ask this one. What, the... Our, Would you rather Re Rebecca review or five on the spot? I don't care. Let the folks at Rebecca home decide. Rebecca review or five on the spot? Since we're... we're uh, since we just got a late start, we'll let you guys pick which one we want to do. Yeah. Random review. And our, our, I gotta remember to go delete the, or five uh, on the video spot. of craziness. Yeah. But while you're doing deciding, I'm gonna go delete the video of craziness. <laughs> the video that never happened. Don't touch anything. You might jinx it. Can you <laughs> wait till we're done? Well, I don't want people to go out there going, "What is this crap?" That's true. 
<laughs> they may do that anyway, well, but yeah, at least it'd be on a probably, legitimate that's video. Probably, that's of. probably the normal reaction to our stuff. <laughs> Nine hundred of you are crazy enough to follow this week after week. It just <laughs> um, don't touch. No touchy. No touchy. Don't mess with anything weird. <gasps> Did you just delete us? <laughs> No, I'm deleting the one. Oh my thing. gosh. I don't trust you. Yeah. If we disappear, it's Hunter's fault. I saw him hit delete, guys. <laughs> oh no! They're gone forever! Alright, what'd they decide? Oh, I see random review. You slackers don't want to work tonight and pick a topic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> that's pretty funny Tommy I'll give you that one that's funny. <laughs> Tommy wrote Hunter used to watch Sesame Street religiously for 10 years then he decided last month he might be too old <laughs> huh you were taking notes so alright can... James jumped in with the random review let's do it see all of the above <laughs> random review alright 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 don't one, look two, over three. there uh, okay pick a number one through five and go follow up with the other number two so they do both there's but a third, I can't exactly. Yeah, just pick. Uh, All right, give me a number one through five, and then give me a number one through twenty. <laughs> okay, do we have twenty games? I don't know what that yes, is. Yes, we folks. have twenty games on one shelf. Hey, it's Rebecca's random review. That's you got ra random. you asked. You're like you're going. Random. You're like going in like a bag of holding and pulling the twentieth game off a shelf. Darn that only right. has five games on it. Darn right. <laughs> make this up as I go. So pick a number. One through five, pick one of those, and then pick a number one through twenty. I'm waiting on. Yep. See, I called it. Look at look at all our videos. Look at look, look about what they're about? They're not monetizing anymore. Oh yeah. They did some. They, they did. They did YouTube. some. They did, YouTube. They did some kind of update to make up oh, four to unmonetize everyone's four. videos. Okay. I got a four and a three. We'll take both of those. Four three. Four <laughs> three. Oh my. Can you get? The yellow game that we just played. Oh, wow, play. okay. Oh, we didn't even mention that we played that. That's a yeah, good... you lied. I forgot. I knew there I was forgot. another game. Oh, actually, bring both of those down. You guys did a good job picking games So today. we played this one. I forgot, but we forgot we played this one. The game is this. We the expansion to... is this. And it is excellent. So, Jamaica. If you've not played this, you should try it. You're in for a treat. It's a fun Silly, it's pirate themed, but it's a racing game more than anything else. And you're racing around the board and you're using dice. And you have two dice that you're rolling. One is going to give you your daytime action and you also have a nighttime or daytime and a nighttime movement or whatever it is. And you've got cards in your hand that give you some limited actions. So you get to pick from three cards that you draw at a time. So it's going to have a daytime and a nighttime action. So it might tell you to move forward or it might tell you to move backward or you can get some cannon that you can use to sh fire on people with or you get food or you get money. And you have a ship that has a certain number of holds in it. In fact, I'll just show you this. Noisy box. But you're racing around a board. Boink. I'll show you the board because it's not all that big. Here's our board. Okay, you're racing around the track. And once you cross the finish line, it triggers the end of the game. Here is your ship. This is the hold. So you only have this number of holds unless you get something special that adds to that. And you've got little cubes of food. Awesome little mini boats of different colors. And if you land on the same space as someone else, you must battle. And you roll battle dice, and it's like war with dice really quickly. You can add cannon to it to basically give you a one-up on your dice numbers, because if you roll like I do, you want cannons. But you roll it, and there's also a blast, which is an insta-win. So it's really fun, and if you are the winner, you get to pick something of any of the treasures or food or whatever's in their holds from the enemy person and take it. So if they have a big, huge stack of loot, which gold is basically your victory points in this game, so you probably want to steal that. A lot of fun. And then the crew is the new expansion that they just recently came out with. What, last year? Was it last year? Uh, yeah, it was late last year. Late last year. And we finally got this to the table. And unfortunately, you do have to keep a separate box for it, I think, it just to store everything. But it's pretty cool. For one thing, you have a little bottle of rum. How thematic. <laughs> but yeah, so you use that. And basically what happens now is also in your hold, you can hold crew members. 
So you've got different crew members, and instead of some of the things that you had in the treasure chest that you land on, they put a lot of those as perks with your crew members that you're purchasing. So you're going to get some that'll give you an extra hold, or one that gives you uh, plus one to your cannon every single time, or uh, there's just all these different things. You can go around and purchase those, and they go in your hold, and you can fill up your hold with a bunch of people. Not that that'll win you the game, because you need gold to win, but... You couldn't do that in theory. It kind of mixes it up a little bit, adds an element of fun. People can fight each other and steal each other's crewmen. I don't know about you. I really enjoyed the new expansion. It was kind of fun, especially if you play this a lot and you want to kind of mix it up with something fresh. This is a really great expansion for that. Yep, I enjoyed it. Um, it added another element to the game. I think I agree with a lot of the reviews. It makes winning the race more valuable mm -hmm. because um, the... Crew members you get, not only do they give you a superpower, they give you a certain amount of money, which are basically victory points at the yeah. end, if you finish first, and then yep. it gives you a lesser amount of money if you uh, don't finish first. So um, it kind of it makes the race more valuable. And a lot of times in the game, you may not win, but if you just have stacks of gold, you're going to win. But if you have the crew, they can, I mean, some of them are worth six gold each. And, and yeah, it's good. So um, It's pretty good. But I enjoyed it. It was fun. It made the uh, made the treasure cards not. not as I, good. I, I would say I would say not as valuable. But then again, the person that won got the twelve point treasure card and won the game by getting that. So yep, yep. So, so there you go. Yeah, I enjoyed it. That's a good one. Good yep. one. Good one. Good one. I don't so think I don't think I will ever play the normal game again. Yeah, without this, I mean, it's super fun. Don't get me wrong. And if you have somebody that's brand new to the game, maybe just to keep it simple. But this doesn't add that much complexity to it either. And you could skip this entirely and still have a viable game. It's just there's so many great perks on the character cards that you want to probably yep. do them. So you could ignore them, but you don't have to. So, yeah. There and you go, guys. Jamaica. Super fun game. I just thought of something that just occurred to me. If you want to, even, uh, if you want to play a super simple game um, with maybe a, a new gamer or something. Oh, just you pull like a crew? Take, no, take the crew out. And put play with the crew, the character, the treasure cards that come with the crew that don't oh, have any. Yeah. So that pulls the superpowers completely out of the game, and the treasures are super simple. That's true. It makes it a, it makes it an even lighter game. Not that I would want to play that, but if someone brand but yeah, new if you to have gaming, really new, yeah, yeah, you could use this as an intro game. That's a really good idea. So it's versatile. There you go. Rebecca's, Rebecca has a random review. You guys picked a good one this time. That was good stuff. Good stuff. Randomly All and right. awesome. Let's see how long. So now we have this refrigerator. I I gotta. Yeah, we're going to go to the unboxing. Unboxing time. Can I time. lift this? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm going to guess this was free shipping. <laughs> this is a this, not... This is this, a... This better is, have this Dreamhouse a, 3D Dreamhouse in it. This, like, this, you can this, build a house. This, a house. This box is obnoxiously large. This is obnoxious. <laughs> you have Gloomhaven in here? What is this? I might. Oh my gosh. No, I probably would have weighed more. All right, folks. <sighs> I'll give you a guess to what's in this box. So there is... I'm trying to remember what all is in here. There is... A box of ridiculousness. One, two, three, four games? You know what? I'd laugh. It's just a box of those snakes, isn't it? <laughs> is there four games in here? There better be like 20 games in here. This is insane. Uh, is it sad? I don't remember what's in this box. Oh my gosh. I know there's three of them. There's going to be more then. I know there's more. There's four games. Good heavens. Any guesses? This so TI4. Ooh, that's a good guess. It would explain this monstrosity. Let's see what we got. Let me give you some hints since the, the guesses aren't coming in. Um, Barbie Dream House. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, you're we got a we got we got, a we got a we got a reprint. Okay. We got a worker placement game. Ooh. We have a anniversary edition of a game. <gasps> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> and mystery game I forgot about. <laughs> We shall name it Free Shipping. <laughs> Hunt for the Ring. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah, and a mini fridge. Definitely a mini fridge, guys. I'm with you. That is I'm pretty sure I saw GE somewhere on the box. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm going to disappear because you can't see me. A box of forgotten toys. <laughs> <laughs> We're from the island of Misfits. Oh, look. Is it cool stuff? Okay. 
You're cleaning that up. Oh, whatever. The cat will clean it up. <laughs> oh, why? Let's get, why? Let's get, oh, go with, uh, it's not, there we go. I'm geez. mean. What in tarnation? What is this? It's huge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's as big as the refrigerator box. <laughs> what is this insanity? It's anachrony. I, I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what this is about. I just know it's, <laughs> people talk about it and it's huge and... Here, let me, oh. I can, I can sell, sell this to you in four, four words. Okay. Time, travel, worker placement. Boom, sold. <laughs> I am so excited about this game, man. It is on. Time, travel, Time worker placement. Time, traveling, placement. worker placement. I did not realize the box was so big for this thing. Holy cow, it's a big box. Are you one of those guys that gets on Amazon and buys, like, a couch and it's, like, this big? Because you didn't check the <laughs> dimensions. I did not realize the box was this big. This is, like, this is, like, more the ring size box. That's insane. Well, hey, you have to fit all of time inside it. I'm cool with that. No, it's got a really cool mechanism. Basically, you, it, it, from what I've heard I've, from the reviews, like, let's say you're playing and you're like, oh, I need three, uh, three, you know, crystals or whatever you need. Okay. You can go, okay. In the future, I need to come back to this time and give myself three crystals. Are you serious? <laughs> and then you have to, at some point, you have to go back in time, get in a suit, go back in time and give yourself three crystals, or it causes paradoxes. Oh, it's like living a Star Trek episode. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this looked really fun. Oh my gosh. Tell, please tell me it's going to melt our brain. It's, it's, I don't know. We'll see. Uh oh. Wow, there's more. Oh, yes. This one is going to make the girls super happy. We finally got it, guys! I'm so yeah, excited! Yeah, so I wanted, the this girls is... played Takanako, no, Takano, Takano, <laughs> that too. At, um, at... BGG Spring? No. No. BGG, no. West Texas Table Oh, it was West Com Texas. In September, I think, last mm -hmm. year. And they loved it, and I went out, I was going to go buy it, and then, but I heard there was a fifth anniversary edition coming out, and here it is. Yay! I'm so excited! The girls are going to freak out when they find out. I think this has to get played this weekend. It's funny that it doesn't say fifth anniversary. I guess because this is the this the, it's the fifth anniversary edition, but it's like the new edition now. This, oh, okay. If you buy Takedo, this is what you're gonna okay, get. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm so excited! This game is so fun, and I was afraid like the girls might at first get upset because you can kind of take their space and they have to move on and skip maybe something they really wanted to get done. They both fell in love with it, and we enjoyed it too. They love the trying to get the food first, be it the first to they, eat the they meal. They like to or... beat us to it too. Yeah, yeah. that was part they of it. They really fun. enjoyed this game. I actually enjoyed this one quite a bit. It's really it... fun. Anyway, there you go. So yeah. This I'm, is... I'm curious what the fourth game is. <laughs> I don't even honestly don't remember. This is two. We're at two. I don't even remember what the fourth game is. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there is a fourth game. Is there only three? No, I think there is. There's one below this. Okay. Now this one explains the box size too. Dun, 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 dun. It's here. It's here. It's glorious. Look at how shiny and pretty it is. Does anyone want to buy a lightly used copy of TI3? <laughs> As in mint condition, gorgeous. Oh, man. So here's, here's, oh. why, here's why I, I got TI4 when I had TI3. Because... A good number of the, a good portion of the expansions for TI3 are in the box for oh TI4. Oh my goodness. And if you know anything about TI3, buying the expansions are, a hundred. if they're in good condition, they're a hundred bucks each. Are you serious? Ugh. So, I figure I'll sell my TI3 for a song and a dance and get this and be happy. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so pretty. So, for my birthday... <laughs> the Twilight includes of 354 plastic miniatures. Crazy. Oh, good. But see, it it has, it, this it, box it, is huge. Because when I played uh, the first time I played TI3, let's move this. Sorry, you guys should see me. First time I played TI3, we played with everything, and I really loved the capital ships or whatever they're called. Uh, I loved those. Those were very interesting. I loved um, some of the other, uh, like the different. Um, Powers that the, the races mm, have, yeah, different yeah. things they can do. I just, I, I enjoyed the expansion. So when I bought TI3, I, I wanted to look for the expansions and I, it was just ridiculous trying to find them. Oh, okay. So, um, so there you the go. price of this 
is probably what I would pay to get the expansions for Just, TI3. I know this doesn't have everything the expansions have in them, but it has the stuff I wanted to play with, especially the capital ships. Those are really, it, it gives it, each one has a unique little ship. It's really, it adds, a, adds some variability to the game. So anyway, so there we go. And now we have the game I forgot I bought. Can I give you a hint? Yes. It's space themed. Space themed? Mm hmm. This must be something I bought for you. Um. Probably mostly for me, but it's definitely for both of us. Is it an expansion? Mm hmm. For? A space game? Ascendancy? No. No. What's space? Oh, come on, come on, come on now. It's sad that I don't even know what I bought. That's so sad. The expansion is the second, but the game is the fourth. What are you talking about? Show me the game. Planet. What's in the box? Planet. Planet. The base game's the first. Oh, Venus next. Yeah. Come on, man. All right, there you go. Yeah. No, this is definitely for you. <laughs> it is not. You hate <laughs> terraforming Mars. Yeah, that's it. This is like Christmas. We just got through Christmas. This is this is still January. What's going on here? The world has gone mad. What we say, what's that? That meme. I'm so excited. We're celebrating. <laughs> Venus next! And then, the universe. Yeah, so I'm excited about this one. <laughs> I'm, I, honestly, I'm mostly excited about Anachrony. That game, that, game oh looks, my gosh. that game looks fun. I'm excited about all of the above. So, I'm not sure we're going to fit all this gaming in, but it's happening. Who needs sleep? <laughs> I did not buy with Anachrony. You can buy... Um, when you go back into time, you jump in a mech, and you travel back in time to do your things. And in the in the base game, as far as I know, it just it's just a token or something. But you can spend like twenty bucks or twenty five bucks and get little get mechs, and your little character actually slides into the mech where it looks like he's sitting in the mech. <laughs> so I didn't get those because I want to make sure that we. Why enjoy, not? I want to make sure what? I like the game first before I. Uh, before I spend another twenty something bucks for uh for Mex. So there you go. There is our unboxing, our first purchase. Of and the now year. we need a snow day, a legit snow day, not me throwing cool stuff ink in the air. But we need yeah, a real I'll, snow day so we can play all this. As soon as we get off the air, I'm probably gonna crack an acre open and start reading the rules. Because yes. this game, I don't know, this game looks like I hope I, I am so psyched about this game and I uh did, did my research, I watched all the reviews I could find, and I looked like I will really enjoy this game. Um, supposedly it plays great two players. Yes. Um, it's fairly short. Oh. Hour, hour and a half. Yes, it's 30 minutes per player, um, people. Ooh. It just looks like it's right up our alley. And I just love the whole thing that you go, ooh, I need these items. I just remember to go back in time and give them to myself and just get them. It's or something like that. It's so funny. <laughs> Oh, hey, it says use the scythe mech. <laughs> that's good, Tommy. Yeah, not a bad idea. So, All right, folks. I think that's going to that wrap fun. it up. So we did indeed break, whether it sticks or not, we broke 900 subscribers, which is very happy. You guys are awesome. And officially, it was YouTube that caused the chaos because all our videos got demonetized. So they were doing a massive update. There go our mad millions. They, they, yeah, mad millions. <laughs> they, they did a massive update right when we were streaming to demonetize everyone that doesn't have a thousand subscribers so that's what caused the issue so it wasn't our end that's why i couldn't figure out what was going on it was definitely on their side i'm sure lots of streamers will be complaining tomorrow about their streams being interrupted well i hope tom's is i guess okay. i guess maybe not because the big people it didn't affect them oh right? that's true that's so true. it's only the smaller only, smaller only channels. those us peons will be getting, <laughs> yelling at them like, ah! so here, there you go you want to exit us out of here and let's go unpack our refrigerator <laughs> Sorry, peeps. We got some games to play. We're not going to play any games tonight. You're no. going to sleep. Yeah, I know. I'm an old woman. You are All an right. Old woman. So, but hey, guys, it was really awesome. I'm glad we were able to get the internet stuff working out. And so, thank you so much for sticking with us. And for those of you that haven't yet, subscribe so that we get to our big whopping thousand. <laughs> and we, then we, we start we making the pennies world. again. We, we, we roll, roll the world. world. That's right. <laughs> First, we get our thousand, and then we get the world. So. Hey. And uh, for those that are watching this live, the Dice Tower is, in fact, going live for the end of their marriage. Yeah, so go watch them. You so can watch them live. We'll, see what I'll, be, I'll be over there watching uh, Tom, you know, sweat 
I, I can say. Oh, I don't know how he's doing this live. I'll be completely honest. Yeah. I don't know how he's doing this. I could not do that live. Because a lot of my... the Kickstarters at the end have they have one or two things. They have the they have the bump at the end, but then at the last second they have the the drop drops and so they all just, have oh, the people go I, I could not that, that back out and I, I, it, that would be heartbreaking to see. You get to a point and then you draw. You start. Yeah, you see it start yeah. heading the other way a little bit. I, I could not do that. It always life. seems like they recede right at the very end. That would make me so. Not nervous. necessarily the bigger ones, but the smaller ones. Oh do yeah, that. And it's just in general, yeah. So yeah, but anyway, we'll probably be over there chat. Well, Hunter will be over there chatting. And uh, your so. seventy three sixty one comes out tomorrow. That's right. It's a so. very a very interesting mix that ten. So. Yes, a very strange mix of it games. Is, it's a very big <laughs> variety of games in that mix. So. All right, we'll see you very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.